The chronic disease management menu is available within a patient's file under protocols. To begin, go to protocols and click chronic disease management, then click add review. Register the patient for any existing diagnosis and enter the year diagnosed. Any of the CDM diagnosis coded in the patient file as an active condition will be pre-populated. Click OK to save. Vitals will be pre-populated if there is already a vitals exam done for today. Populate the required fields and use the ellipsis buttons to populate if it's not already pre-populated. Click the Audit C tool to calculate the patient's alcohol risk score. Answer the questions by choosing a result from the drop-down menus provided and click OK. At any time, click the drop-down arrow on the Fields Required button at the bottom of the CDM review screen to show what mandatory fields are remaining. Click a field from the list and the field chosen will be highlighted in the CDM for completion. You can also move between sections to that particular area in the CDM review. You have the option to use the QRISC calculator and you have the option to search using the ellipsis buttons on the side. When you're finished, you can click OK to save the information. Vaccinations are pre-populated in the review if a flu or pneumococcal vaccine was recorded in the patient's chart. The influenza vaccine will only populate if recorded as given in the last 12 months. The last pneumococcal vaccine will be populated in the review. Click NA if the result is not available. When the lab results come back from HealthLink, they will be pre-populated in the review. All mandatory fields must be completed before the claim can be submitted. Click the ellipsis button to map a lab result to a field. To create a care plan for your patient, go to the care plan section, populate the care plan fields. You can hover over the information bubbles for useful hints. Complete the necessary fields as shown in the example provided. Once you have finished, click the Save button to save the information. Click Print to print the plan and give it to your patient. To complete the review, click Patient Review. Then click Save. The status will be updated to Unsent when all the required fields are completed. Click Submit to Send. The status will update to Awaiting Acknowledgement. The care plan can be viewed at any time or reprinted if needed. To import and update the status, go to Administration, HL7 Tests and click Import. To track a claim, go to Tasks, Claim Tracker and click Chronic Disease Claim Tracker. Here you will find a list of all your claims. You can filter on the status of a claim submission. You can look at a particular patient by selecting and clicking Open Chart. And from here, you can view and see the reason for rejection under the status. Once you have amended the rejected claim, click Save to resubmit. The claim status will return to Unsent and the Submit and Delete buttons will be enabled. Once corrected, click Submit. Click Delete to remove the visit from the patient's chart or the review can be archived from the claim tracker.